What's going on everybody? I'm A-Dub and today we are down here doing a little bit of fishing and talking about red lures for cold water bass. Let's get into it. So there really is a ton of different bass lures that are red, but your number one choice for a red bait is most likely going to be a crankbait. There's a ton of red crankbaits. There's balsa crankbaits. There's shallow divers, deep divers. There's flat-sided crankbaits. There's square bills. There's all kinds of different ones. We're going to go over those today, and we're going to try out a couple different ones. There's also some other red baits, such as the Strike King Thunder Cricket. You have got a vibrating jig that is red. Those work amazing this time of the year. That is just a staple bait for the late winter, early spring transition. Something about that cold water and that color red, those bass just can't resist it. I have got a Strike King Red Eye Shad 2-tap tied on to my kicking their bass rod, and I also have a different crankbait tied onto my spinning rod from Luz, and we're gonna throw those at this pond right here, and we're gonna see if we can't start off with getting some fish. After we catch a couple here, we're gonna move spots completely and go to a totally different ecosystem and see if we can do the same thing, catch some more fish on some red lures. So Y'all stay tuned. This video is gonna be pretty awesome. If you guys haven't already, be sure to go ahead, subscribe to the channel down below, turn on the notification bell, and leave a like on this video if you enjoy it. Now let's go ahead, start throwing these red lures. Let's see if we can get us a big old bass. Water clarity is a little bit dingy today, but that shouldn't matter because that bright red is gonna get it done either way. They don't care if the water's clear or if it's muddy, they're still gonna bite it. Let's go ahead and make our first cast, see what we can get going out here. We're gonna go ahead, switch it on up to the chesty and uh, we're gonna get it started. We're gonna start off with the striking red-eyed shad, the two tap. This is actually the chili crawl color and uh, they make a couple different reds, but this is one of my favorite colors. I actually caught 24 and a half pounds on Lake Gunnersville in a tournament one time on this exact bait in this exact color this time of the year. So that was pretty cool. Basically what we're gonna do today is I'm just gonna go around, work this pond kind of quick, see if I can get a couple reaction bites. And uh, after that, we're gonna switch up baits, see if we can get a couple more. And then I'm planning on going to a creek or a river later on today, throwing some crank baits a little bit more and uh, that should be really fun as well. But we're gonna start off in this pond, see if we can get us a reaction bite. Start off with the old two tap. I've gotta fish this thing kinda high because it is a little shallow down here in this corner. But uh, I'm just holding that rod tip up and bringing it right over top of the bottom. We're gonna hit this kinda quick today. We're just gonna keep on moving and uh, it's kinda the name of the game if you're fishing a bait like this, you don't really stay in one spot for long you hop around and try to get that reaction strike from whatever fish wants to eat it so that's what we're gonna do let it sink out there a little bit oh that was a giant that was a giant Oh my gosh, that was a giant. That was a giant. I can't believe that fish just came off. I hope y'all could see that boil. Oh my gosh, dude. That was a monster. That could have been an eight pounder. That could have been an eight pounder. I'm not even kidding. Wow. That's the biggest boil I've had in this pond in years. Years. It was just too close, I think. It was just too close for me to set that hook too good. I think I set the hook a little bit too hard. Oh my gosh. Goes to show you, they like the red. Keep on moving, that's what we gotta do. Even if I did have a big one come off, gotta keep on moving. One problem I'm running into in this pond is it's just not deep enough really for this bait. So the Thunder Cricket is probably gonna be a really, really good option for this pond. But I do know I can get some on this, but it's just pond is kind of shallow for a lipless crankbait. Kind of need to fish it in a little bit of deeper water. But we're gonna keep trying it for a little bit. <laughs> And then this other pond, we should definitely be able to get one on it, for sure. We threw that lipless crankbait around for about 15 or 20 minutes, had one solid good bite, had a huge boil, probably a giant fish. But other than that, no takers. And that means it's time to switch up to a good old vibrating jig. 
this is what you call fire crawl and uh this color gets absolutely smoked i'm excited for this this bait should work really good in this pond this pond sets up perfectly for a vibrating jig so let's see if we can go ahead and get us a bass on this thing the good old fire crawl vibrating jig i got me a rage crawl on the back of this thing almost just got it hung in a tree man that thing looks beautiful if i don't get one on this there's a problem caught a lot of fish in cold muddy water on a red hopefully that's what's gonna happen today throw it out there deep let it sink just reel it on across the bottom give you a better look at this thing in the sunlight we're gonna throw over here off of this old dock this is where i had that big one miss that red-eyed shad and this is usually a really good spot it's just got a lot of structure and uh they seem to sit over here pretty well so should get one over here on this thunder cricket Oh no. I just had one. Came off. I don't even know how that even happened, but it did. There goes a duck. Mergansers. Bacon. Okay, not that big. He just felt really big. <laughs> Fighting like crazy. <laughs> he would not move. Look at that, he just popped off. When I first set the hook into him, he was like there, dude. First one, not a giant, but hey. First one of the day, you gotta start somewhere. And uh, that's it, first one came on the Strike King Red-Eyed Chad, red color. He ate it good, he was out there deep. Hopefully we'll get a couple more out there. He fought me good. Old cold water bass. If y'all wanna check out any of the baits I'm using today or the rods and reels, I'll leave all that stuff in the description down below so you guys can check it out with some codes to save you money. We're going to see if we can get us another bass. I'm going to probably keep throwing this red-eyed shad around, but we might end up changing back to that thunder cricket. We just got to see. That's a good one. Yeah, much better than that last one. It's like at least a three pounder. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a meatball right there. That's what I was looking to catch, right there. Look at that. I was just about to wrap up and change spots, and then, bam, there we go. Got us a good one. He's not an absolute mammoth, but he's a pretty good one. Much better than that last fish I just had. And this one gave me a good fight, too. There we go. That one ain't bad. I'm going to say it's probably about two and a half. 276, so two and three quarter pounder. Not quite three, but hey, what a beautiful, chunky winter bass. Beauty. That's what I've been looking for all day. 
is you, girl. I've been looking for you. Oh, <laughs> what a beast. I was really about to go ahead and just switch up and go to the creek or river, wherever I was gonna go. But I just caught that one, so I've gotta stay for a little bit more now. It's a pretty good fish, so. It's still tough getting them to bite in the winter, but you can sometimes trigger them to bite and they have different feeding periods throughout the day. And if you hit it on that feeding period, that red bait can really work very, very well. I don't think I've hit a feeding period yet. That's probably in the morning and in the afternoon. That's usually just when they feed, but I'm still able to catch a couple. I've gotten two on the board so far, both of them on the same bait, haven't gotten any on the others. And uh, I think I can get one more here. Then we're gonna move spots and see if we can catch one somewhere else. It's slow, but it's kind of steady, I guess. We've gotten two fish. Both of them have been up here in this pond. That other pond, I had a giant, I mean a giant, miss it. We're going to see if we can get us one more bass. If I can get me one more bass on this thing, we're going to go try a different spot. See if we can get on a better bite with the Thunder Cricket and the uh, other crankbaits. There's one. Oh man, that might be a giant. I don't know, he's acting kind of weird, but he's acting kind of big at the same time. It will not come up, I'll tell you that. How big is he? Okay, he ain't a giant, he's just another good one. <laughs> Dude, they're all just so fat. I'm glad that these fish are this healthy because a while back they weren't like this. That fish was fighting so hard. Wow. Another one. They're crushing it, dude. Barely hooked, too. Look at that. This one's not as big as that last one. He's fat and healthy. That's probably a good two and a half pounder right there. That thing, it started off feeling decent. Then it started feeling bigger and bigger and bigger. And he kept going back and forth and he would not come up and jump. So I didn't even know how big he was. I thought it could have been like a five pounder. He was fighting like one, that's for sure. That one came just parallel on this bank right here. This is kind of a deep bank. I really like it down towards this corner down here. So I figured I'd come over here and throw off of it. Bam, got smoked. We're gonna try something new. Got a little balsa crankbait tied onto the spinning rod right here. And uh, we're gonna throw this thing. See if we can get us a fish on it. I don't know exactly how deep it goes. I think it goes probably three, four foot, maybe five but these balsa wood crankbaits can do really well this time of the year really well well it is a new day and today i actually went down to a creek and a river i fished around for a little bit it just was not happening i was trying to go to a different spot for all of you and just show you hey this works in different spots but i went to that creek fished there for a little bit went to a river it was just high it was muddy the water was flowing too fast i don't really know if the fish are even there yet because those are a little bit of shallower holes this fish could be holding down in their winter holes right now and uh that means we're back at the pond so i'm down here at the pond again yesterday we had three fish that we landed and then i also had a really big one come off and uh, i'm hoping that today they're going to bite pretty well too it is the afternoon i think it's like four o'clock right now and maybe these fish are going to go ahead and start feeding we'll just kind of have to throw around and see but we're gonna see if we can get a couple more fish today for all of you i got a couple different baits today that i'm going to try and uh i don't know see what happens all right so i actually tied this on for the creek i was fishing this is not my favorite shaky head in the world the thing keeps falling off it's really annoying honestly but it's what i had just laying around so i didn't have to go in the boat just a little rage crawl fire crawl color on a shaky head 
I got it on my spinning rod. Honestly, I probably should throw this on my bait caster because this spinning rod is a little bit too light to get good hook penetration, but we're just going to roll with it. And uh, there goes those two ducks. Man, I have these two ducks that just keep living in my pond. I don't even know what they are, but it's not duck season anymore. Kind of kind of gives me throwback vibes, though. I wish it was duck season. There's just two sitting on my pond. You can't shoot them here. Too many houses, but it's pretty cool seeing them. This just isn't working. There's just too much grass on the bottom. Keep getting all kinds of it on here. I'm just going to have to fish something up above that. I got the old vibrating jig tied on. So we'll give it a couple throws. Didn't get any bites on it yesterday, but maybe today we will. If we don't, we'll change back up to what we know we'll get the bites. The old Strike King Two Tap Red Eyed Shad. I don't understand why they won't bite this. This is usually a favorite of the bass this time of the year. I mean, I've had days where the only thing I could get bit on was one of these. But now, it's the one thing I can't get bit on. Makes no sense. That was so cool. That was so cool. Come on, we have to land him. He's in the tree. He's in the tree. Dude, what in the world's going on here? What in the world's going on here? Dude, that was so cool. Oh my gosh, I'm still in the tree. Still hung. Look at that. He just bit it right there at my feet. That was so cool. I watched him like roll over on it. I gave him a second to make sure that he had it. Set the hook and bang, there we go. Right next to the bank too. That was on a long cast out there, kind of deep. He must've followed it into the bank. Wow. Well, it officially is not happening down here, Chief. That's all I can say. This pond, is just not good right now. I don't know why, but it's not. So I'm gonna work my way up to this other pond. I caught three up here yesterday. We're gonna go back up here, see if we can catch a couple more. Caught one in this pond today, which is good. At least we caught one down here, but I don't know if, I don't know if it's the water clarity. I don't know what it is, but they're just biting way better up at this other pond. So that's where we're headed. Let's see if we can get it done. All right, let's try it. See what it'll do. Well, I guess we're gonna wrap up the video. I uh, only caught one fish today, but we caught four total. And uh, it's still tough fishing out here. It's definitely not fired up yet. It's still cold outside. Water temperature is still really, really cold. Um, give it a couple weeks, they'll be feeding really good. But right now, they're still a little bit sluggish. But I'm still happy that I was able to just catch four fish. I mean, anytime you go out and you catch some, it's just a blast. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope you guys learned a little bit of something. If you have not already, be sure to go ahead and pick up some red baits and try them out on your local body of water, whether that be a lake, river, pond, whatever it may be. A lot of people never think to throw a red bait and they can really pay off this time of the year. So be sure to go ahead, try it. If you guys wanna check out any of this stuff that I was throwing in today's video, I'll have it all in the description down below with the code to save you money. And that's rods, reels, baits, all that stuff down below. So be sure to go ahead, go check that out. It really helps me out. If you guys haven't already, be sure to go ahead, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. We'll catch all y'all in the next one. Ain't no doubt.